I am still recording inside of a closet. <laughs> that just sounds so weird. But I'm not recording in the closet in Philadelphia that I was just in a few months or a few weeks ago. In a few months ago, I will say too. I am in my mother's closet. What is up, guys? Welcome back, finally, for another Thursday of Racing Serotonin. Listen, I'm sorry. I will just start there. I'm sorry that I did not keep my word for July. I feel like I did that before, too, but specifically for July because I made you a promise. made you a promise that I would give you an episode every single week in July, and this is me holding myself accountable and blaming myself, but it really wasn't, like, totally my fault. I know I said I would do that, and I'm sorry that I didn't, but hear me out. The last three weeks in July actually ate me up, swallowed me whole, and then spit me back out. Oh, oh, oh. And then stepped on me. <laughs> okay. It was just one thing after another, left and right. I'm basically getting slapped with things that I was not mentally prepared for. It was just a rough, rough three weeks. So again, I'm sorry. And I will never make a promise to you like that again. Because I'm human and shit happens and when shit hits the fan, I will not record an episode because you know that I do not put out crap episodes. If I am not 100%, I cannot show up on this podcast. I will not show up on this podcast because you don't deserve the shit side of me, the shit show Sam. And I know that's like the quote unquote real me, but this is the real me. Like when I'm down in the dumps, like it's bad and a lot goes through my head and I'm not, I'm not on right. So I'm not going to drag you through that mud because you've already been through enough mud with me. And I'm not going to start now by wasting your time if I'm not a hundred percent. Being human is cool. Having emotions and feelings are cool, but I like I wasn't mentally prepared for those types of situations that I handed in July so you know I wouldn't I would not put you guys through that and give you some whack-ass episode over the past three weeks so I have learned so much I have so many notes in my phone I can't wait to share all my cool ideas and knowledge and wisdom with you I'm really just so excited and I'm not sure if you fully know this yet but I did just say I was recording in my mom's closet. So that means I am back living with my mom and it's all super fun and awesome because I get to hang out with my dog every day and wake up in a hot pink room. Really, I am not sure what I was on in sixth grade because it, when you look at the wall for too long, it hurts. It hurts. I mean, who's staring at the wall? But if you're in the room, if you're in the room for a long period of time, the room is hot pink, it hurts your eyes, okay? That's it. I love pink. It's my favorite color ever, but hot pink, it was a little obnoxious. I'm blessed my mother let me come home, come back to this house, whatever, while I continue my apartment and house search. Why? Why, you may ask? Why is it still going on? Because, because guys, we do not settle. We do not settle. I will not settle for a 400 square foot box for $1,300 a month with no washer and dryer and one window. I will not live in that shithole. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse to spend that insane amount of money for a year or more. And I know that I will be miserable because I'm not absolutely in love with it. We don't settle. We never, ever, ever settle because if I did settle, I probably would have regretted it and I would have wasted a butt load of money that could have been going towards the other things that I know that are going to happen. So you probably will regret it. So don't settle. Okay, moving on. Enough of all of my life drama because there really was a lot of drama too. Not saying that the issues weren't important, but it was a lot of drama and we're done with that. So I'm excited to get into today's topic. In all of my episodes are pretty personal, I would say, and this one is going to be a little extra, extra personal, extra, 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 get all about it. Okay, 
a side note <laughs> a lot of you probably don't know this there's like a handful of you that probably know this my mom has a garden in her backyard and she <laughs> made carrots this year or planted carrots planted carrot seeds i'm not sure but these carrots are huge i have never seen a real carrot like i've only seen like the the mini carrots in the bag the baby carrots this was a real carrot it was large anyway this is going to be extra personal because like i said before i kept getting smacked in the face with things that i was not mentally prepared for and i think i'm mentally prepared for a good amount of things now and none of this I was mentally prepared for. And I know, I am 1,000% aware that we will never be mentally prepared for 100% of the things in our lives. But that does not mean we can't be somewhat prepared to be able to handle those types of situations that we don't always have to go through or we haven't yet had to handle. And just be really, really thankful that you are where you are in your life, no matter what the spot is. Just be thankful you aren't where you don't want to be. And that's also coming from a spot where I could have spent a ridiculous amount of money in a place where I didn't want to be. And mentally, I am nowhere where I used to be. I am 12 bajillion times better. So I am thankful for both of those places in my life that I am not, not settling, quote unquote, to say. And on Raising Serotonin, we live for ourselves. We only do things that better us. We take complete control of our lives because we are only here for a short period of time. And we also know that some days are better than others and we are aware that things can shift from time to time. But that leads me to this. Why? Just, I'm curious. I was going to word it differently. But why? I, because I'm curious. <laughs> If you're not moving your body, reading, learning, educating yourself, putting good into the world, what are you doing? Existing? Question mark. <laughs> I literally think of the little meep guy from SpongeBob when he's like meep. When I think of like solely existing and that's not it. You were not put on this earth to solely exist. You can't. You can't. You are meant for way more than that. And I don't even have to personally know you to tell you that. So if you're listening to this and you need that, I hope it helped because that's something that I would have needed. And if you're the one that is putting that exist mindset on yourself, then we're taking that. We're taking it away from you because we are done with that and we are going to take some time to learn why it is important to not just exist. You will be 10 times better off if you actually care because I for sure used to just solely want to exist. No, I didn't want a single person to notice me. I didn't want any recognition, good, bad, nothing. I just wanted to work, wake up, go to school, go to class, whatever it was, move through life, pay my bills, and that was it. So I hear you. I feel you. But since I already did that lifestyle for you, I can tell you that it will get you absolutely nowhere. It got me absolutely nowhere. High school was garbage. I transferred colleges after one semester. I've always struggled, not now, but I've always struggled to make friends. I, have, I had to live paycheck to paycheck for a while. And I did all of that because I was just existing. And I knew that I could have more if I wanted it, if, but that was only my decision. But if I wasn't mentally there, I couldn't do it. I wouldn't let myself do it. So now we have to make sure that you're not just mentally existing because that's when you take a step back from everything else that you've worked towards and go, it's okay, it's whatever, let's just exist. And I can't let you go back to that place. And if you're in that place, I need you to get out. Because it's not going to, you can't move forward into the rest of 2021 in your life living that way. That's where I want the shift of the, like the mental shift to change of existing to living. Because when you are living, we can make so much positivity happen. You can make so many changes. You can make so many mental changes. Your life will switch from negative to positive. And again, I didn't think it was possible. 
I want the, okay, you know what? We're here right now. We don't have to stay here. I think, I think we're going here or we might go here. And these are some of the steps that I'm going to take to make everything work out in my favor. Yeah. And if you hit a little bump, that's okay. Because we're done jumping to the conclusions, breaking down for zero reason. Don't ignore your emotions and your feelings. Obviously, I already said that. But you're not going to just shut down and just exist again. You're not going to do that. And the first thing that we're going to start working on and will always be the first thing that you start working on when you feel like you're just starting to exist again, you work on yourself. You work on the inside. All of that comes first. The mental comes first. I don't care if you're saying, okay, like I'm going to go lift weights. That's fine because it's mental. It is physical too, but your brain is working so hard. Serotonin is being produced. I promise you. And don't come at me and say, I'm a functioning human being. Okay, functioning is not the same thing as existing. And to be able to say that you are functioning properly, we have to work on the inside first. So let's get back to the work on you for you. And I'm not just making this shit up, I swear. I swear it sounds crazy. I know. And you're like, how do you just put yourself first? There's other things that come before that. Like, I have to pay bills and all. No. No, 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 no. Because once you start shifting your mindset from all of that, I have to, I have to, I have to, to I get to, oh, baby, that mindset is going to feel so good. I promise you. There are days that I still slip up, but don't get me wrong. There are a little way less days than there used to be, be before. The best CEOs and the leaders and do all the things that I preach about and say on my Instagram. And I, I just never believed it either. I was like, why the hell can't I just change, like quote unquote change? And I thought that way because I was just existing, not wanting to actually live my life to the fullest potential. And maybe it was an age thing. Maybe it was because of what I went through, but it doesn't matter anymore. Nothing like that matters. It's because you are in control of your own life. You can take control. You have the power to do whatever you want. And I want to add in there, I used to believe that people couldn't change. And I will stick to the toxic people who don't realize that they're toxic and won't change. But if you know that you got something that you got to work on, then we can change. Because you're going to be the change that you want to see in your own life. You will. I promise you. I promise you that. But if you're going to go and try to change someone that's toxic and doesn't think that they're toxic, not don't try to change anyone. But that especially those people because that's not worth it. And the reason that I put so much emphasis on the first step to living your best life is putting yourself first is because who really gives a wild poop about the end result? Because right now it's probably going to change as you grow and your mindset shifts. So we don't even know the end result. It doesn't matter. As long as you know that you're putting in the effort and the time and the dedication to live your best life. It's going to happen at the end. It's going to, the result is going to be good for you. Taking those proper steps that are right for personally you, not, not every single CEO and leader does an amazing person in the world does X, Y, and Z in this order, in this way. No, we, they, everyone does similar things, but how it benefits them is what they maximize. We all can have goals for the future. It's fine, but we don't live there. We live in the present. If you are miserable in the present, you are going to be miserable in the future. So we have to start with changing you and your mindset first. And that's how we start living. Okay? You hear me? You hear me? Good. I love you so much, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.